The vision is about bringing people here 12 months out of the year um, to be a, a source of education and support for Northwest Wisconsin. It's a place where young people uh, can come and, and practice and learn new skills. I think it's a place where they come and they develop new friendships. Forgive me for getting a little choked up about it, but this is an amazing place. And I have never been in a place that is such a can-do spirit and the little engine that could all wrapped up in one. Shell Lake Art Center is really the, the dream of Daryl Aderman. Daryl was the high school music teacher uh, here in Shell Lake, and he had the notion that all children should have the opportunity to study under a master teacher. For Dad, it was very clear that kids were missing out by not having the best teachers. And for Dad, that was somebody who was an amazing performer. They had to be an exceptional performer and they had to be an outstanding educator. So they had to have both. Now my dad was going to graduate school in Madison and when he was there he was a counselor on one of the dorms and he saw kids, high school kids coming to Madison, the big city, and they were going to camp but they generally were getting all of their instruction from the assistants. Maybe the professor would come in once a week or every other day, but they really were not getting their instructions from, um, from the best teachers available. When I've told people I'm now the executive director at the Shell Lake Art Center, they tell me, oh my gosh, I went there when I was in high school. I know all about that. I studied with Eugene Rousseau. I studied with Dominic Spira. I remember Daryl Aderman. We owe homage to those people and know that as we move forward, we continue to honor them by hiring the very best teachers to work with our students. Our dormitories were very nice structures to begin with, but 54 years on a wooden building uh, we're in the midst now of doing some major renovations. Their condition has deteriorated over the years uh, and the cost to repair, re re replace things has, has increased. And the kids put up with a lot, parents put up with a lot. Board members and faculty members put up with a lot. The capital campaign is, is really about making sure that our facilities support what our stakeholders and our students, um, our community needs in the future. We just have invested about $160,000 in both refurbishing our dormitories and also towards uh, putting in a technology backbone. Master Teachers Magic Setting, and what a beautiful place to be out here in nature, uh, exploring, becoming the best creative artist you can. Shell Lake was a perfect place to do this. You have the lake, you have this supportive community. It's more casual and one-on-one, -on -one and you bring the right teachers into a place like this, and you just can't go wrong. Get excited and pumped to be among the trees, to hear the birds chirping, to hear the babble of a brook, and to imagine that in a very short time, we're gonna have students here that are also making music in this environment, creating paintings, building beautiful digital portfolios of their artwork, uh, and doing drama and dance here. Even when the dark comes crashing through, when you need a friend to carry you. I see a lot of potential growth here. We want to make it a four season camp rather than a summer camp. We want to make it available and, and supportive of adult programming. Very excited about the future. Um, I have 
great hopes and expectations for our capital campaign and, and expect that things will happen um, quickly and in a way that really does meet the needs of our students and our community and our stakeholders. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a very exciting time to be part of the Art Center. Any opportunity to take them out of their regular environment and plot them in a place that's different allows for growth that they can't even imagine. And we all know that sometimes the best experiences we have are when we didn't think we were going there. And all of a sudden we find ourselves there and it's that aha moment when the light bulb goes off and they say, oh my gosh, look at what I learned. Because it's not about what we can tell them about what we just did with them. It's about what they can tell us that they learned. Whatever Daryl Aderman started here, or how he started it, it took off, it took root, and it's in the soil. This is a golden opportunity to become the art mecca of the Northwoods of Wisconsin, and that's my vision and my mission for this place. It really is a, a, a treasure for the whole country. It is magical. It literally is quite a magical place.